make a bonnet for my off-road buggy and I'm going to use the same technique as I used for making the roof. I'm going to make it out of galvanised sheet metal, take a fibreglass mould of it and then make a carbon fibre copy of it in that mould. I'm going to show you my sheet metal fabrication of the die in detail and I'm going to do it without any special equipment. Everything in this tutorial would equally apply if you wanted to make a nose cone for any sort of racing car. This is a mould, not the finished product I'm going to make from it. But you can see from the brightness of the colourings for gel coat that you could use this if you're making the finished product as your paint, particularly on an off-road buggy because your colouration is built right through the layers and it's going to be stone chip and bulletproof. this timber cradle so when I flip the mould over it'll set up the perfect angle for me to work in it.
because you're laying carbon fibre on a clear resin, the tiniest fault in the material will show. So I've learnt the hard way to put masking tape around the edge of the cloth on the first layer so that you don't get that one stray hair that will get in your job and you won't see it until it's finished. There's no need for Kevlar on this bonnet because it doesn't need that degree of toughness. Instead, I'm going to put two layers of this 400 double bias on top of the plain weave and that will give it the strength that it needs and the flexibility. a weekend to make these three pieces but the advantage of having my own mould is I can spit out a panel anytime I need one. With hand laying it's difficult to get a perfect job but it's easy to bog up any minor faults when you can paint over them. But you can't do that when you're making clear carbon fibre items. Air bubbles in the surface, a stray thread, small dimples. You've got to learn to accept these things, how to minimise them and work out how to repair them. Maybe you'd be better off starting with a job that's simpler than this and giving yourself time to learn.